Good morning, I'm Simona Bonelli. I'm from Turin University in Italy. I'm a biologist and I work on uh, biodiversity conservation, in particular in butterfly conservation. In ProGireg, I'm involved in order to uh, make the urban tissue more pollinators friendly. Butterfly, bees and bumblebees are known as pollinators and our uh, urban tissue often is uh, not permeable to these uh, insects that are restricted to the surrounding of the city. They are isolated and this isolation decreases their opportunity to long-term uh, survival. So we decided inside the project to work on greening and change a little bit the idea of uh, urban green according to pollinators' needs. They should select a lot of green area, also very small green area, urban green area, public or private area, like school gardens or public gardens. And in this area, to change at least one part of plants according to pollinators. That means to select plants that are used by pollinators as a source of nectar. We know that butterfly in particular uh, needs plants both to, for nectars and also for reproducing, so to feed the caterpillar, the larvae. So cities uh, have to select uh, these plants and greening in a different way, not in a human point, from a human point of view, but selecting from biodiversity point of view, the list of plants. Then the second step is to put this plant and see if pollinators appreciate our, uh, their initiative. And so that means to watch uh, butterfly and bees and bumblebees that are using this new uh, green area with these uh, plants. And this is not so impossible because butterflies are very well known, are very colorful, are not so difficult to recognize if a scientist uh, as, mm, can uh, uh, train uh, people. Also, a citizen like children or adults, uh, retired, for example, could, uh, um, could watching uh, butterflies or bumblebees recognize uh, different species in order to see how much uh, this uh, new green area is uh, appreciated by, by this pollinator. In this way, we have also scientific data that we can compare to other situations, for example, to outside of the urban context or, or uh, among different municipalities uh, in order to have, uh, to have to obtain a scientific data to compare our results. So that's really important to, to be sure that this uh, effort was not only for the idea to have, uh, general idea to have uh, pollinators in, in our municipality, but also to be sure that they are increasing. It's difficult to start because um, from the historical point of view, the choose of green was always done uh, thinking to the human point of view. So green usually is uh, nice to see, easy to keep, is uh, recreative. Uh, and the, in urban contests uh, in Europe, we are full of uh, exotic plants. These exotic plants often have not a functional role. They are just green. They could be refugia for some animals, but they are not used by pollinators to reproduce or to keep nectar. And there is no connection with our autochthon native species. So it's the, ch the change of uh, criteria that is a little bit difficult to start. When we start, practically it's not so difficult, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 